Okay, as you can see, I already set up the scene in Cinema. Um, and uh, let me walk you through how to make something like this happen. So, here I brought the character we just saved from the dust. And um, so I didn't touch anything except I set some simple lighting. So we have a spotlight and we have a dome light. Um, outside of that, nothing crazy. Uh, and let's start with creating a camera. One of the reasons I like to start with a camera when I work with the characters, um, I like to switch to the portrait lens. Otherwise, my faces look a little warped. And I'm going to hide the um, light. So, let's see how it looks. So, it might look overexposed in the beginning, but uh, as soon as we'll start bringing textures in, that overexposure will go away. So, after you have your character in, in here, um, I'm going to bring my body outside of everything else and hide everything else. And I'm going to uh, delete all the duplicated materials. We are going to do that because if you see this thing, this character has lots of lots of uh, textures and we want to merge some of them. Like for example, lips and face and ears share the same texture, so we want them um, to be the same material. So let's do that select duplicated materials, so um, immediately there will be less materials. Um, and let's create redshift material. Double click on it, we'll create some crazy color just for now. And uh, I know that my face is actually this material called ears, when um, ears, face, and lips got merged, I just inherited one of the names. With holding Alt, I'm dragging and dropping my redshift material onto my ears. So immediately, you can see that's the part we need. And we double click on it. And I usually like to start with setting up my with setting up my uh, bump and displacement. Also let's get rid of the crazy crazy highlights. Okay. And rename material to face. I'm also going to duplicate and do this one for the head. The name state actually correct. And duplicate and do one for fingernails, which is actually my arms. Or in this case, hand. And one for the body. Body stayed the same. Okay, let's go back to the face. So let's start with our displacement. I'm going to bring texture. This you can uh, check by connecting it to the surface. You can see it's the right one. So now bring displacement, connecting it to the texture map, and connecting it to our surface displacement. 
And one thing we also need to do is to add redshift tag to our sorry, our own tag, camera tag, redshift object. And here, overwrite, edit, enable displacement. And one thing you will notice right away, actually going to save this one into my um, picture your So the <laughs> uh, head is head kind of swallowed. That's because um, our displacement is um, gray. It means black needs to push down and white needs to push up. And right now everything is pushing up. So to change it we need to go here into new range minimum and change it to minus one. And here we go. We have a beautiful new displacement. Let's bring it into a picture viewer. So before, after, before, after. So this actually makes me really happy to see how all those details from the scan actually come into this model. Cool. So um, another thing to bring is normal maps. So let's start typing texture. normal map. Don't forget to change the range to 2.2. Open bump map. Texture input. And this one goes into material. So overall, overall bump input we see some extra details appearing so without bump with bump without bump with bump I actually tried this render before and I Settled on 0.3. I thought it was a little too strong when I render it in 100%. And uh, usually, I like to uh, render my text, my characters with skin tech, skin material. So I'm going to grab skin material, connect it to output, and connect my bump in here and remove this previous material. And immediately our head will look like a potato because this radio scale is crazy at the moment and uh, we can dial it all back to 2.5 Okay, this already looks better and let's bring the texture of our base again connect it to the surface first to make sure that your UV matches it does and here I'm going to add color correct node color correct Connect it with my input. We'll make some space. I'm going to duplicate this input three times for with control. I'm duplicating it with control. Um, this is going to be my uh, shallow, mid, and deep scattering. So my shallow is a little bit green and a little bit desaturated. It's like very, very, very thin. 
layer of skin I'm going to connect it to my layer shallow shallow color surface and um, for now I'm going to Um, change its contribution to point two and it's how far it goes let's try point zero five I actually played quite a bit with all the numbers and uh, we're going to jump into my other scene right now to confirm because I will just have to spend quite some time uh, matching the numbers every scene I kind of uh, do it a little bit all over. Okay, let's see. Let's see the numbers here. And um, yeah, so as you can see, this is point two and uh, zero. 3 radius for the shallow, my shallow surface okay, here we go Then let's uh, take a look at the mid scattering, 0.6 and 0.15. So this was more neutral color. Yeah. And and my very last one. is red like so uh, it's one and two in terms of radius it's the deep tissue color so I um, adjusted color correction like this and I connected it with the layer node and edit uh, reddish color as my multiply so and then that was the result for the for the uh, rest of the head I pretty much duplicated this same material and um, just brought this new uh, the other textures texture of the head and then for the hand this is coming from dust this is the those textures we found earlier from Wolfgang. So um, again, I just duplicated the same material. Uh, luckily, uh, colors match pretty well. But if uh, yours do not, you can just add extra hue saturation and um, try to match it with the uh, color of your scan. Um, so also one thing here, I removed the displacement because I didn't have a displacement map on this one. So there is no contribution, and um, my actually face and head had different different displacement contribution. I found that there was like a little seam going on there. It didn't bother me on this particular um, view, but that's something you might need to adjust or adjust the map so goes from you know some value to completely uh 50 percent gray so there's no displacement contribution in there uh, but yeah so uh, that's pretty much it also just through a um, camera with a little bokeh effect and here we have our 
Das character, but with the unique morph and with an awesome textures coming from um, uh, scan. So hopefully it was helpful. Thank you.